weirdest animals washed up on shore. Welcome to Crypto Fun Fridays. A giant squid, a monster-sized squid washed up onto New Zealand's South Island. It shocked and surprised onlookers and attracted the attention from scientists at the Kaikoura Marine Center and Aquarium. The scientists at the museum collected the specimen for research and study. The giant squid was measured at 23 feet long from tip to tip with some tentacles measuring 16.5 feet long. Each of its huge eyes has a diameter of 3.15 inches. Finding this specimen will help us learn more about the giant squids which we know nearly nothing about because of how little contact we have with them. Giant Pike Eel In February 2016, a scary-looking corpse of a giant fish washed up near New South Wales, Australia. This giant specimen was found by a fisherman named Robert Tyndall near a boat ramp in Swansea City. It was then posted on Facebook by a man named Ethan Tipper. Locals were reportedly confused and unnerved by the giant fish, and who can blame them? The carcass was later identified by marine biologist Julian Pepperell as a pike eel. Pike eels can grow up to five feet, nine inches long. This particular pike eel is surprisingly only four feet, nine inches long, which is still pretty intimidatingly big considering how they're known for being aggressive toward humans. Although they prefer to eat smaller prey like crustaceans and bottom-dwelling fish, when humans accidentally fish one out of the water, they thrash around violently with their razor-sharp teeth and huge mass. They give fishermen a good fright whenever they cross their path. Giant Atlantic Sturgeon. This dino-sized fish washed up on Folly Beach in South Carolina in March 2012. It was described as a sea monster because of its unusual plate-like armor, yellow color, and spines, and its size. Before claims about a sea monster washing up in South Carolina went rampant, a local veterinarian from the South Carolina Aquarium publicly identified it as an Atlantic Sturgeon. Atlantic sturgeons can grow up to 15 feet long and 800 pounds. The plates on the body are actually called scutes. Blue dragon washes up in Australia. In November 2015, video of a rare blue dragon washing up on Gold Coast, Queensland went viral. It was filmed by Facebook user Lucinda Fry, and she was really lucky to capture this elusive creature. This blue dragon's scientific name is Glaucus Atlanticus, and it is a sea slug that is native to the tropical waters around the world, including near Australia. It's also known as a blue angel or a sea swallow. This sea slug is bioluminescent and beautiful, but can also pack a painful sting. Because they prey on blue jellyfish, they can store the venomous cells into their own extremities and use that to sting others. Megamouth Shark An extremely rare shark washed up onto a beach in the Philippines in January of 2015. It looked like a messed up visitor from Mars come to take over a planet, but it's actually the extremely elusive Megamouth Shark. This shark is so hard to find, it wasn't confirmed until 1976 as an actual species and has only been seen about 65 times since then. This shark is a 15-foot creature and has a big bulbous head and 50 rows of teeth. Giant Eyeball Although this technically is only one part of an animal, it had to be included because of how weird this find is. In 2012, a large eyeball washed ashore in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. It was about the size of a softball and was being kicked around by a man taking a walk before he picked it up and put it in his fridge for posterity. He called the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, or FWC, to take it off his hands and identify what the eyeball could possibly have been connected to. Of course, rumors of a sea monster without an eye started swirling around, but the FWC identified it as belonging to a swordfish. But how did a swordfish lose an entire eyeball with such a clean cut? It was probably butchered at sea by a fisherman and was thrown out into the middle of the water before it washed up on shore. 
Conjoined gray whales. On January 5th of 2015, extremely rare conjoined gray whale calves washed up on the shores of Baja California, Mexico. The Siamese twins measured about 7 to 10 feet in length, which is about 5 to 6 feet shorter than most gray whale calves. Although many people don't see them, According to veterinarian Michael Moore, conjoined twins being born to large whales is not completely unheard of. However, they're rarely seen because of how hard it is to give birth and raise two whales out in the middle of the ocean. When they washed up, concerns were raised about it being the results of the nuclear fallout from the Fukushima plant meltdown. But after testing, the DNA of the twins showed no radiation was found. long-nosed batfish. This completely baffling creature washed up on a beach in Brazil for tourists to find. It has wings, legs, and a tail, and a strange nose-like looking appendage, which makes it seem like the product of a randomizer in a create a fish game. It is actually the long-nosed batfish, which while unknown to many people, is documented by scientists. It has evolved jointed fins and legs which allow it to walk along the seafloor in search of food and a strange suction tube-like mouth which allows it to suck up their meals. Even though it's not exactly a new discovery, its strange and shocking appearance is just more proof of how little we know about our own ocean. Hairless Mystery Creature In December of 2014, this partly decomposed hairy creature washed up onto a beach in Santa Barbara. It was discovered near a dredge pipe on the beach after a major, brutal storm. It's hard to understand where it could have originated from. This mysterious hairless creature has been left unidentified, but some hypotheses include a dog and a wolf. Millions of Varela Varela. In 2014, millions of creatures colloquially called by the wind sailors were washing up along the west coast from California to Oregon. The jellyfish-like creatures are scientifically known as Bellella Bellella and are actually hydrozoans, not jellyfish. The creatures look like strange little half-blown plastic bags. Because they float freely with water and wind currents, they don't really have control over where they go. They're usually found free-floating around in the Pacific Ocean, but they can be found all over the world. Every few years, a really big storm might throw currents way off and end up setting millions of by-the-wind sailors crashing into beaches. Sometimes they can even be found in piles two to three feet high. They don't sting when touched, but they do emit a specific rotting smell when they pile on in the beach. Join us next week for Crypto Fun Friday.